Okay, so I finally got my CWWK 8 slash 9 bay NAS AMD board. And the reason why I got this particular board is because there's a lot of stuff on it and I don't even have to use the PCIe slot that's on there. So to start, got a 42.5 gig Ethernet, one display, one HDMI. You see the USB 3 and under here is the, I think it's called C connector, and USB 3 is here. I don't know exactly how USB 3 they are, 3.2, 3.1, whatever. Now what I, like, what I like about it also is, I never had an AMD before anyway, but right now I got two 16 gig DDR5 team group so dims. CPUs under here someplace. Over here would be the. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Help out. Yeah. Under here is. This is the software on M2. Uh, on the bottom. Let me give this a quick flip because on the bottom. There's room here for another M2. I think 2280. And uh, I guess. I think about using that, except if I have to take the motherboard out when something goes wrong with it. But I might use that for my cache NVMe slot. And then use the other one for something else. Now, the reason why I really got this board in my mind, okay, is... Right there. These are two SFF. 8643 connectors that use this kind of connector to go to four different hard drives. Okay, so each, I'm sorry, each one is for four hard drives. That's eight. So it's an HBA. It's not a RAID controller, but you can do RAID 10 out of it, RAID 1. And if you look further here, it's a regular SATA slide. I'm not sure if that's SATA 1. It might be SATA 1. It says SATA 5 on it. So I don't know. And I don't even know which one of these is 0 and 1. So I have to try it out when I do something else. Now watch what this, see what this stick is. That's a TPM module connector. It uses the ASUS type. The type I, I think I showed in... Uh, I showed something in my, my first video on this. But I'm not sure if I did it right. But... The one you got to look for is 14 pin, it's Asia's, right? And this pin here is not there, and it should be blocked on the connector, okay? So, another thing I found a little troubling, but I'm not sure. Okay, this is the cable for the, the hard drives. And I already told you the TPM connector is right near them. Let me stick it in. That could be a little bit of a hard time. If it works, I'll leave it alone. It's very, very close. See? Very close to the connector. It's plastic, so I don't mind it. So we'll see how that works out also. Hopefully it'll work. Yeah, I'm not trying to complain about this board, but I'm just a natural complainer, okay? So even if there's nothing wrong, I'm going to complain about something like, Hey, this thing works right. I can't stand it. Here's your other connector. Got your regular 24-pin connector. USB's on board. I like that. Hopefully I could use that for uh, maybe a boot system on USB. Like, uh, I think Unraid goes off a of USB. Something like that. That would be nice, I guess. It's something extra. Bunch of fan connectors. It's on the website. I don't know what else I can say about this board except I'm going to enjoy it. Now, what I like about putting... Not having this HBA built on the board is I get to use this PCIe slot any way I want. I'm not really sure what it is. 
It's a 16 slot, but I think it really works as an 8. And uh, what, I would, what I would use it for if I was doing server stuff is another controller card for hard drives, right? Hey, that looks kind of funny, don't it? Well, this one would be for external. See? 8644 on one side. Go to the, uh, an external box with hard drives in it. This one will do up to 8. And I like that because I can add hard drives all day long and move them to different places. But that's mainly if you're using something like a Windows program. I'm thinking of I'm thinking of going Windows and then using virtual machines, but I'm going to get this thing going on TrueNAS, Proxmox, and whittle my way down. I'm going to put it in my N3 board, oh, I'm sorry, my N3 case, and I'm going to hope for the best. I'm going to get the, the i5 this in the N3 case now and put it in some other box that my son gave me so I can run my old Windows 7 disk on it. Because these new boards will not run a legacy disk. I don't know why. I don't have any answers for that. Okay, what else do I have to show you? Oh, there you go. Came with a back plate. Now, I ordered the... Uh, it's supposed to come with a, a Johnsbo, they call it a radiator, and the HP 400S, but it didn't come. The good thing about this is I got a hold of CWWK. I said, hey, I got the board. They said, I mean, I ordered it on a Sunday. It came on the next Saturday. That's pretty good from China. Then I didn't get the fan. So I told them, hey, I didn't get the cooler. Well, they came back and said, we shipped everything. Then I went back and said, I did not get, I don't think you understand me. I got the motherboard, but I didn't get the John's Bow radiator. Then they sent me a tracking number. The tracking number was for my original shipment. Then I went back again and said, oh, we're sorry, we sent you the one tracking number. Send me the other tracking number. That thing's sitting in New York right now as I speak on the way to come here. So they did good. I'll give CWWK credit. They did really well. Anyway, the next thing I'll do with this is I got a Thermalrite fin coming in also. That'll be here today. Uh, mount it on the board, run the board up for tests to see if it even starts. And we'll go from there. I just installed this Thermalrite AXP90 X47 full copper. I like full copper. I think full copper will do a better job of cooling. But it, it barely fit because it came with these brackets that didn't fit. But then when I did it without the brackets, even though it's insulated, then it fit. So I'm not exactly sure how to, if I'm doing the right thing. I'll make some phone calls. But I'm just trying to make sure that I did this right. And I'm going to start it up with the TPM module in it. I just want to get to the BIOS. Nothing else. And I'll be happy. Okay, so it looks like the board's booting up. I can't do this too long. I didn't put down all paste on the fan because I wasn't sure how it was going to operate. But I can try to step through the BIOS. It looks like in the old BIOS that we used to have. BIOS information, memory information, TPU speed 3800, that's good. Advanced TPM, TPM is, looks like the module's working. Uh, I'm trying to guess where the the hard drives work out of on those headers on the SATA headers but I don't think I know enough about this to go searching around for it so when I actually hook it up and we look at the BIOS after I hook it up to the, the John's bow and I'll have my my, well, you go, my hard drives all plugged in then I guess we'll know in case you want to know what, what a book is I guess I am the book for right now. Anyway, thanks. I'm sorry I started through this, but it's my first time feeling myself through it. Okay? Well, not feeling myself, but getting through it. All right. So before I end this video, just in case you're wondering about CWWK, if you could trust them or not, I'm not sure, but this interaction I had with them getting this board 
was perfect. Okay, all I did was I went on the on the site, hit the NAS. Down here, there's a the seven nine bay NAS board, which is the one I got. It tells you everything about it, but not everything about it because some of the things don't match. It lists you know all these processors here, but I don't have even one of those. And then mostly the the inputs are pretty much the same, okay? And it does tell you that, I don't know exactly where, it tells you that it's a times 8 slot. So, there you go. PCI 16 slot, PCI 4.0, times 8 signal. So, two NVMEs. So I got it, right? I get the board and like, I ordered it on a Sunday, got it on the next Saturday. That was good, okay? And I ordered it with the radiator, which is like, oh, sorry, like this. Get the John's Bow cooler, and if you noticed earlier in my video, the one I use is kind of like that, probably just as good. But I ordered this with the cooler, and I wanted it. So it came without the cooler, right? And the way you react with these people is on the chat, okay? They answer the chat. Now, I've gotta, I got to consider that they're... Uh, you know, 14 or so hours ahead of me. But it worked out okay. So I sent them an email. Okay, now it's order number. Not sure why the bank gave me a problem. Yeah, the bank gave me a problem when I tried to charge it. Probably because it was out of China. But I was still using PayPal. Anyway, I fixed that. Then, I keep saying last question, last question, but... Okay, we received your order, thank you. Now they shipped it to me. Okay? Then I asked them to explain what kind of... Uh, TPM module I needed because I don't know why you need TPM modules. They should be in the board. This is the one I was talking about before. See the last pin's missing? That's 14 pin. But I told them I didn't get the fan. So oh, we sent it. I said, sorry if you didn't understand. My order had a John's Bell fan included, but I didn't receive it. Can you send it to me? It was an order, blame, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Sorry. We'll send it right away. Well, then they sent me a tracking number. And I won't click the tracking number. The tracking number clicked to the motherboard. Okay? He said, hey, we showed delivery. Yeah, well, I don't think so. So, I understand. I did receive the motherboard, but not the John's Bow Cooler. Hey, we delivered the goods. It's not as bad as it sounds. Please check to see if the people in the States didn't forward the radio to me. I think they sent it to a main place. And that place ferrets all the boxes out and mails them where they got to go. And then we got, hey, if you don't want to send it to me, just refund the 28 bucks difference. Then they send me a tracking number, same tracking number. Sorry, we already had to live with the goods. I gave you the wrong tracking number last time, okay? And that's what it was. Thank you. I'll mention your good service. I guess I got it. I'm not saying they're great or anything like that. But they did me right. The, the cooler, when they answered me, is already... In New York, someplace when it gets distributed, so I'm, I'm good with that. But I can't talk about the future with these guys. But they got a lot of boards I want to check. Okay, they got a lot of boards I like to check out. I mean, go to the homepage. They got these different NAS boards and stuff. They got crazy stuff I don't even use, but all these are NAS boards. And I would like one of the other ones, but the only one that does eight is here or here. But, you know, you got to get a CPU for it. Oh, here it is up here. You got to get a CPU. And the board I got here seems good. It's it's a it's a laptop kind of platform, but it's good, okay? Anyway, so I, that's all I wanted to say. I trust these guys so far. There's the homepage again. CWWK. I don't know if they make it and Topton sell, sells them also. Or if Topton makes it and they sell it also. But the Topton boards and these boards are the same. All right. Anyway, have a good day. Hope you got something out of this video. My next one will be after I mount it in the Johnsville N3 case. We'll see how it runs. I'll start off with TrueNAS STL. Then after that's done, I'll just go into my own stuff and see what I'm really going to use on it. Okay? Everybody have a wonderful time.